Planet Fitness, vitamin shoppy thing for when I get my car serviced. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So we're kicking it old school today. We're doing a what's in my bag video, but this has a little twist on it because I'm gonna talk to you guys about this very beautiful, very fancy designer handbag. So this is a Teddy Blake bag. Um, and just a heads up, it's not like an affordable bag. It's not like your $40 purse you get at Target. This is a luxury handmade handbag. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to review it for a while. They reached out to me, I don't know, probably six months ago um, and asked if I wanted to do a review on a bag. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I was, at, I was at my sister's, I was sitting on the couch and I was like, look at these. Like we looked at the website, every bag was so beautiful. But I was like, I don't think I want to. Like I didn't feel right promoting something expensive. Even though it's not outrageous, it's like, you know, I use like 80% cheap stuff on my channel. So I don't know, I just felt a little weird. Um, and then they reached out to me again and I was like, I still don't know. And my sister was like, do it. And I was like, I don't know. Eh. And then finally the third time that they reached out to me, I was like, okay. So I tweeted, I asked if you guys were interested in seeing a review of a luxury handbag. And surprisingly, all of you said yes. And it got me thinking, it's like, just because I'm not the bougiest person ever, like I know there are a ton of people out there that love spending their money on good quality items that are gonna last them basically a lifetime. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. So this bag in particular is the Eliza Vitello bag. Um, this is a 12 inch, it's pretty big. It comes in a lot of different colors and I got the gray and blush one. So it's gray on the outside and on the inside there's this kind of beautiful dusty, like muted blush color. They had an orange suede one, the same style, but it was like this terracotta orange suede and I was like, ooh, I wanted that one so bad, but they were out of it. It's pretty popular. Um, personally, what I love most is the fact that it's a huge bag but is also beautiful like that was really what made me gravitate towards it is that I like a big bag I have a ton of stuff I like to carry around Nick is always making comments about how heavy my purse is so I really wanted something spacious but a lot of times a spacious bag is just boring looking to me um, and I thought this was so pretty I love how it kind of ruches up and you could still be cute and you can still carry around a pair of shoes if you need to. The only thing that I think this bag is missing is an inside zipper. I really appreciate that it comes with a clutch, but I think in addition to that, I'm used to having, you know, a little like secret pocket in there for like secret stuff. That's literally the only thing I would do to make this bag work a little bit better for me. It has the perfect size strap. There's some detail here, like little studs, and then this kind of wider like strap that goes on your shoulder so that you don't put too much pressure on your shoulder, which I love. Um, it doesn't completely close, so it might not be the bag for you if you're someone who really wants to like zip your bag completely closed, um, but I don't care about that. So instead it has this little like cincher thing that you use to kind of cinch it closed. I think a lot of you might actually find this bag to be more of like a tote. I love it because I carry a ton of stuff in my purse on a regular basis, but I was also thinking how amazing this would be as like a carry-on for an airplane because it's really big, but they do make a nine inch one as well. I got the 12 inch one. I just think it's so beautiful and so simple simple and elegant and easy to style. And as someone who has never owned a nice handbag and I've always gone with like inexpensive bags from Target or um, I would order them from like Just Fab all the time, that shoe place. I didn't really think there was gonna be a difference. Um, and when I opened this, I was like, oh, <laughs> I get it. I understand now why people spend money on something like this because of the quality, just down to like the stitching, I feel like this is gonna last me a lifetime. So feel free to check out their website. Um, I, I promise you this isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just, I'm gonna say it's a luxury brand, but the pricing is not quite outrageous. It's not like, you know, buying a Chanel bag where you're gonna have to like, refinance your house to pay for it, but it is higher end. So I think this brand actually might work for a lot of you. Also, I don't know if you guys watch Vianney Strick. Um, I've talked about her a few times on my channel, but she tweeted and told me that ever since she reviewed this, um, this is like the only brand she uses now. And I definitely trust her opinion. So it was actually nice to hear that, like someone I trust giving it a really good review. So we'll talk a little bit more about the bag after, but let's get into what's inside the bag. So it comes with this little insert, this little clutch, um, and it's actually attached to the purse, which is very convenient because I lose everything. So I'll show you what's in here first, and then we'll get into like what's in the bag. So this is mostly makeup. Hourglass Extreme Caution Mascara, duh, best mascara ever. I pretty much have everything in here to do like an emergency full face if you ever need to. So I have a Sigma F80 in my L'Oreal Stick Foundation amazing combo. Stick foundations are great for your purse because they're not messy. You don't have to worry about anything dripping anywhere, getting all over your hands, like quick and easy. And this is an amazing foundation, by the way. You will not have pores if you use it, just saying. Ooh, I feel like you guys are gonna see all like 
my products that I use all the time but don't talk about. This Pillow Plump Gloss from Soap and Glory. I use it all the time. It actually plumps your lips. It stings a little, not stings, it like, you get a little buzz. This one's just a clear one. It's literally my favorite clear gloss. There's like a tiny hint of shimmer that you don't really notice. It just kind of gives your lips a slightly, I, I can't explain it, just use it. Okay, promise. Tweezers and lash glue, duh. I always keep the little lash glues that come in the Eyelure um, lashes box. And then I have like 80 pairs of these little lady tweezers from Sally's. I got like every different lady that they had. <laughs> Cause you never know when you're gonna have a stray brow hair or a stray mustache hair, or when you need to fix your eyelashes. I have a spare Maybelline Total Temptation brow definer that's missing a lid. Cute, profesh. I have my egg mellow cream, my favorite hand cream, in fact, my hands are feeling a little parched. It smells like powdered donuts. Not normal donuts, like the powdery ones that I actually don't like. Are you guys glad that I did my hair for you? Cause this side looks so good. Um, this item has probably been in my purse consistently for like five years. Not this specific one, but I like, I repurchase it constantly. This is the Palladio retractable lip liner in the color Nearly Nude. Best color ever and I'm actually wearing it. Right meow. And I think the last makeup item I have is my Dermacol. This is in the shade 211. It's a perfect match for my no makeup face. I used to use 212 and I realized 211 works a little bit better. And this, oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how many times I've sat in my car, pulled this out of my purse and dotted this on my face because it's so full coverage, but yet looks exactly like skin. It's so moisturizing, so dewy. It's an amazing product. Everybody needs this in their purse. Okay, let me put all this back because if I go somewhere tomorrow and I don't have any of these things, I might panic. All right, now let's get into the actual like contents of the bag. And I do wanna say, if you're like a very organized, like type A person, this might not be an amazing bag for you to use as a purse. It might be better as like a carry-on bag for the plane. Ooh. A good idea or you know just a tote because it's not gonna keep you real organized i don't mind everything being kind of a conundrum in there because that's just the type of person i am <laughs> but keep that in mind if you like how this bag looks just keep that in mind it's like a big chasm where you could lose stuff okay these i actually just put in here last night they were a recommendation from my friend christine on twitter they're the simple cleansing wipes and oh my gosh best recommendation ever thank you christine they literally took every bit of makeup off my face last night, including my mascara, like in two seconds. They didn't burn, they didn't itch. You always need some sort of wipes in your purse, right? These are awesome. Three pill bottles in here. Potassium, because when you're on the keto diet, you need potassium. Nexium for my throat closing attacks. And Advil. I don't take Advil very often. I'm scared of it. I feel like it's gonna kill me. But every once in a while, like first day the ant flow comes, Gotta take two of those. I got some mints my mother-in-law gave me. Normally I'm an Orbit bubble mint type of gal or sweet mint, but it was an emergency the other day and she gave me this entire bottle. Was that a hint? Was that a hint, Melina? Ooh, ooh, this is a good one. Hemp's triple moisture hand sanitizer. Okay, we all have hand sanitizer in our purses, but you need to just stop using other hand sanitizers and use this one because it smells. Oh my gosh. It smells like Love Spell. You remember Love Spell? Like old school Bath and Body Works Love Spell. Oh my gosh. And it's so potent and so strong. And of course it has hemp seed oil in it. So it just doesn't dry my hands out as much as other hand sanitizers. I used to always use the Bath and Body Works ones, but I just can't. I'm too dry. What else? My grandpa gave me a shoehorn. I don't remember doing this, but I have a chip clip full of ponytail holders. Um. That's kind of genius. <laughs> oh, I have two ink pens and I really hope they don't explode because if something happened to the inside of this bag, I would never forgive myself. I gotta have pens though because I get paid in checks a lot for my job and I cannot tell you how many times I've had to drive away from the ATM without depositing my check because I didn't have pens. Ooh, oh my gosh. Amazing product right here. This is the Silken Up Dry Conditioner from Amika. You've probably tried dry shampoo, but have you tried dry conditioner? So dry shampoo is designed to like absorb oil up here and conditioner is designed to like do what conditioner does. It, this will really smooth out the ends of your hair if they're dry and frizzy. I really wanna spray it right now, put my birds in here and it would like kill her, but it's so amazing. And what I like about this more than I like like a product that would come in a pump is that it's aerosol. So it's it coats all your hair. Like it's gonna give you more coverage. It mists on really fine and it'll silken up every piece of your hair. Here is um, a wet brush that I stole from my friend Becky. I'm just kidding. She left it at my house and it's actually in my purse because 
I don't want to forget to give it to her. Oh, here's a good one. Lush Silky Underwear Powder. There's one of these in my purse. There's one of these in my bathroom. I repurchase it every single time I run out of it. It's just such a good powder to have. If you're feeling um, less than fresh, especially on a hot summer day, this stuff is amazing. It'll make you smell like a delicious newborn baby. But what I really, really, really like about this is that it's safe. So it's not made out of talc. Talc will like give you ovarian cancer depending on where you use it. <laughs> and this is cornstarch, kaolin, fair trade cocoa butter. Like it's all good ingredients. And the, the scent, what scent is that? Jasmine? Yeah, it says Jasmine. It's amazing. I've got it for a few people as gifts because I believe in it that much. Somehow it's a powder, but you don't get dried out from it. I guess because there's like shaved cocoa butter in here. I don't know. Oh, I got a selfie light from Pixie. I've never actually used this, but um, they sent it in a PR package and I was like, oh, it clips on your phone. And I just, you know, you never know when you're gonna need to take a selfie. There's something else in here that I, can't quite get to, gosh. Oh, my locker for when I go to the gym. Lady products, always organic. And then I guess the last thing I have in here is my wallet, my really ugly wallet that doesn't go with this bag. I wanna show you my driver's license. You can see half of my face. I can't show you because it's truly the ugliest photo ever. Actually, I don't even care. Who are you? Is that not the ugliest person you've ever seen in your life? I looked pretty cute in person that day, I'm not gonna lie. And they were like, all right, look at the camera. And I searched for the camera and the camera's not at eye level, it's below me. So I was like, take my picture. The reason I got this ugly wallet is because I needed two display areas, like one for my license and one for something else that isn't currently in my wallet because it needs to be updated and notarized. Is there anything cool in my wallet? <gasps> Is that a 20? Oh, it's $5. I got $5. Mac Pro card that expired in June of 2018. Good work. Sigma Pro Card. My NARS Pro Card. Oh wow, how old is this? Hold on, what is this? I found something that I don't remember putting in my wallet. Oh, it's a pen. <laughs> picture my uncle. Hi, Uncle Gary. You're a YouTube star. So that's pretty much everything I currently have in my purse. Um, normally, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, normally my purse is full of like straight up trash. Receipts, cough drop wrappers, you know. But I'm trying not to be that way with this bag because it's just so beautiful. I don't want to full of trash. So I guess that's all I have to say. I love and adore this bag. And again, it's the Eliza Vitello bag. And I did email them and ask if I could have a discount code for you guys. Um, she hasn't written me back just yet, but she did say yes. I just don't have like the actual discount code. It is not an affiliate code. This is not a sponsored video. This is literally just PR, review, discount code for you guys. And it was in my bag video. So if you're interested in anything from Teddy Blake, if you find a bag you like, they have different colors and different sizes in pretty much all the styles. And honestly, it's amazing quality. I'm very thankful to Teddy Blake for sending me this because I don't own anything like this. Like I feel so cool. And of course, tell me what's in your bag. I have to know, I take your recommendations. I have a list in my phone of all kinds of stuff you guys recommend to me. So tell me what's in your bag. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. This was actually super fun. I wanna do some more of these kind of old school YouTube videos. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. All right, I'm orange again. Let's wait till it goes away. Yeah, zoom out a little so you can actually see the size in comparison to my head. <laughs> Maybe I should Vanna White it for the video. Say, is that a freaking mosquito? Oh, I will be so mad. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't you show your face around here. Why am I sideways? Do I got stank breath? <laughs> Get my car serviced. <laughs> got a hair clip. <gasps> a penny. <laughs> um, hello? Busy. Okay, I'm done, I think. I'm gonna be done. Hungry?